Hello again, everyone. Uh, my name is Satya Messer, head women's basketball coach here at UCF, and I thank you guys for being here, taking out time uh, to show interest in our program, and we're excited about the season. Um, our young ladies are working hard. We've had a few weeks of practice. Um, in practice, we have players that are, are going tremendously hard, and um, we, um, we're putting Imperman in a lot of our man offense right now and defense, um, and we're just, um, the kids are working hard. So um, I'm excited about a few players. Uh, I would tell you Destiny Thomas is returning from last year. She was the leading rebounder. Uh, Destiny has been uh, doing well in practice. Um, I think the biggest thing is us just getting, she has to adjust to a new philosophy, but Destiny's doing well. Nay is a uh, transfer from Howard University. Um, we're expecting big things from Nay. She's played in an NCAA tournament, has won a conference uh, tournament before, and was um, freshman of the year in her previous university. Uh, so we're excited about her. Asia, Asia is doing a tremendous job. Um, in our four, we had five players returning from last year, and four of the five didn't play over 10 minutes average. And those kids are buying into the system. They're working hard. And we as a staff, we're just trying to mash everybody together with our different um, players that we sign and returners. So we're excited about the season. We feel like we got a great non-conference um, games coming up. We're going to Tennessee. Tennessee right now is picked third in the SEC. We're going to Auburn, uh, who's always a great competitive team, and their head coach there, Johnny Harris. Um, and we just feel like we got Seton Hall, too, um, but who, who won over 20 games last season. So we got some great, great um, competition in the off season, and we're just excited about this opportunity. We know there's gonna be up, ups and downs this season, but the key thing is our players and myself, right? We came up with this, um, with this theme and it's won't stop, okay? And won't stop, no, and that's knowing that we're going, we have a lot of different players, a lot of different coaching staff, just a whole new team. And no matter what obstacles occur, uh, we won't stop. We won't stop. We won't stop when it comes to defense. We won't stop when it comes to offense. We won't stop when it comes to this community and us serving. We won't stop when it comes to our academics. We're going to be the total package, and that is a commitment we all made to each other. I'd like to open it up to questions, please. So when you're coming into a first season, you've got a new school, a new team, transfers, you may not be that familiar with UCF. What's the process like and just everyone kind of getting acclimated and getting, getting to know each other? You know, the first thing for me uh, is I have to be the leader by example. So I can say that I've gotten a lot of rest lately in terms of being exhausted at the end of the day. Um, but it's a lot of work. So I have a whole new staff, correct, that's never worked with me. And I have um, 13 new players who's never played for me. So the biggest thing is the way I want my drills ran, I have to be out there in the beginning and running them and showing my staff the intensity and the level it takes to be competitive with our returners, again, they don't have a lot of um, experience, but to show them, yeah, you're valued on this team and we need you. Um, that's been a challenge in teaching everybody um, what it takes to compete at a high level. So the biggest thing for me is just getting everybody together and just trying to do that. And that, and that leads by uh, example, first of all, from me. Coach, describe your system and how it's different than what fans have seen the last few. Well, my system, number one, I play man-to-man. -man. I think uh, previously, um, um, you guys have been more of a zone. We've been more of a zone team. Uh, but from a defensive standpoint, I feel like you got to be the aggressor to create offensive points. And so I would say that's number one that's different, that I'm going to play a lot of man-to-man. -man. Um, I think in the past, we've had go-to players. Right now, my system, we got to win by committee. Um, and that's uh, different players stepping up each night and being ready to uh, contribute the, the way that they need to for us to win. So I would say that's the biggest thing. Now, a few years from now, I don't expect that. I expect um, 
go-to players and those kind of things. But right now, we got to win by committee. So that's one of the biggest things I would say in years past that's different. You mentioned 13 new players. Like yes. I have someone in Destiny that has been around the program, she knows kind of the lay of the land, be a leader. How important has that been to you? rely on her a little bit for that aspect? You know, I think, um, yes, it does. But Destiny's personality is not that of, I know the land of the way, get out my way and let me do my job. And so me teaching her, you have experience, correct? And you've been through it and you know what it takes. Uh, it's been a little of a challenge and, and, and making her um, kind of, you know, understand that you're an elite player, you can be, um, but you have to be that leader. And I, I would say um, that's been a little challenge with Destiny, but by far Destiny has the ability um, I've been coaching a long time, and I know this, this player can be very special. It's just up to her if, she, if, she, if she's going to buy into that. So um, if once we get her to buy into that, if she chooses to, we're, we're going to be pretty good. Coach, you've been to the NCAA tournament multiple times. You've just had, you have a team who had a pretty good run last year, a pretty successful season last year. For you, seeing this team now, what's it going to take to kind of get – that back or get to that level again? Well, that's a great question. Um, you know, the, the biggest thing I think it's going to take for us to get back to what I'm used to, NCAA tournaments, winning national championships, winning conference championships, uh, is um, the biggest thing is us binding to each other. Um, we got to get our chemistry down. We're not there yet, but we will be. Uh, playing hard, um, our schedule. Our schedule is ready. I feel like we've done a great job in getting the team, the non-conference, getting the players ready so that when we are in the American and after Christmas that they are prepared. Um, but I think them buying into the system, uh, playing hard, knowing that we cannot take a possession off. If we take one possession off, uh, that could cost us the game. And that's the kind of team we have this year. Uh, but it's going to take that, buying into it, playing hard, um, our, our conference, our schedule, uh, you know, competing at a high level to be prepared if you're caught up on in the NCAA tournament where you can make those long runs like uh, I've, I've experienced in the past. What have you been most encouraged by so far during the game? Um, most encouraged? I would say a few players that I've been most encouraged by. You said players? Players or, or what you're seeing in the development? Oh, okay. Um, overall, what I'm seeing and, and I've been most impressed about is UCF overall. I would say UCF is just a, a group of um, people that we are, we're a family. Most of the coaches and all of us, we kind of look out for each other, really have a great uh, connection with men's basketball, football, volleyball, the softball, soccer. We're all encouraging each other on, um, on trying to keep this uh, pro athletic program at a high level and graduating our players and competing at a high level. So I would say I'm most impressed with that in my short stint here. Uh, from the players, I'm, I'm impressed with Asia. I feel like Asia um, has the ability. She's been one that transferred from Liberty and then came to UCL. So she hadn't had, and COVID hit as well. So to me, she hadn't had, had a full season of basketball without injuries, COVID, and different life um, issues that happen. So I'm impressed with her. Um, and, and overall, collectively, the players. But she stands out to me. And coach, I see what you want. And I'm trying to go out and do it. You spent many years on Kimball and staff. Yes. I know you want to do your own thing, but how much have you learned from her? And how much of her style will we see in your style? Well, I, I think the biggest thing I've learned from Kim Mulkey is you approach everything with passion and effort, okay? And so um, that's the one, one thing I've learned from her. And I will say I, I approach that same way. So I would say, yeah, of course I want to do my own thing. But those little uh, gems and, and, and those kind of things are, are priceless. And uh, for eight, nine years, really, eight years at Baylor, one year at LSU, I, I was side by side with her in doing those things and building a program. So that part I took from her. Coach, you mentioned, year? Coach, you mentioned chemistry, and you have uh, personalities as different as Destiny Thomas, and you have Nay Hutton, who you call the Charles Barkley of the group. 
and then she took to mean that she has the personality in the group. I think she used the word goofy to describe herself, right? What do you do to build chemistry? What's some things you've done to build chemistry for the team? Well, one, we, uh, we've we gone out as a team and we had, uh, you know, different activities where we play games, go out to dinner, um, those kind of things. Uh, meeting with them. Um, and building chemistry. Right now we're doing this, guys. We're reading the, the energy bus. Okay, I know may, maybe some of you guys have heard of the book. I've read it years ago, but um, we're talking about, it's three things that I want, no matter what. That's energy, that's attention to de detail, no matter what you do, okay? You can always bring a t energy, you can bring attention to detail, and, and effort your attitude, how you um, you choose to do it. And so um, with Destiny, who's quiet and just wants you to do her job, with Nay, who's a Barkley, and I'll show you she does her job, is, hey, we got to come together and be UCF. And so, but if you three, you two are on that same page, and that is bringing energy, effort, and paying attention to details, then that's my chemistry. That's, that's what we need. And now we're really enforcing it as a staff. Coach, since the last time we've talked, you added Michelle Edwards to your staff, whose reputation speaks for herself, for herself especially after 19 seasons of Rutgers as well. What does she bring to this staff, and what do you think uh, you, you have with this coaching staff that you've assembled? Oh, oh, I am so excited about having Michelle here, okay? Michelle is a WNBA player. She was actually... Um, a founding member of the WNBA. She was she played in the first season. Uh, she coached under Vivian Stringer for 19 years, who was a Hall of Famer and just a legend. And uh, Michelle Edwards is also in the w, uh, a Women's Basketball Hall of Fame. And um, so I feel fortunate to have her on my staff. She coaches our guards. Um, and Michelle is one of those people who are very passionate about what she does. And it's almost a day, like a day can't go by without her calling me, texting me, or speaking to me just to make sure, hey, coach, we're on the same page about what it takes for us to get there. And I like that about her. Um, she's, she's, she's a winner. She's a proven winner as a player. And having been uh, with Coach Stringer for so many years, um, that speaks for itself, too. So I'm excited to have Michelle here. Um, she brings street cred. That's what we say automatically so uh she, she's been a blessing coach how much would you like for your first team here to make that final mark in the american tournament? how much would i like for my first team here to yeah, make a one final mark in the american tournament? oh i would love that okay i would love for my first team to defend their title right and make a, a final mark in an american because it would show the big 12 here we come here we come. So uh, I would love for that. Um, I think the good thing is we have a few players who have experienced that in the past, and we have transfers who have experienced success. So I think we got a great shot at it. We just want, we got to stay healthy. Uh, two, like I said, buy into the chemistry, play hard. And I really do think we have a shot for it. Well, you got a unique, uh, unique having been built in the Big 12, now you're going into the Big 12. What's been here when you recruit? What's been that kind of message to those players? You had that experience back then. You know what to expect. Um, so in recruiting and going into the Big 12, uh, once one, it helps because you can say, listen, you're going to play in a Power 5 conference. So in recruiting, there's kids I can pick up the phone and call who will answer because, hey, they, they feel like they're elite. They want to be in the Power 5. Um, two, it does help that I've won uh, eight regular season championships in the Big 12. So I know the Big 12 like the back of my hand. And uh, being able to bring that experience and convincing recruits that, hey, this is a place that I'm familiar with and I plan on, you know, competing at a high level in that conference. So great question. Coach, coach, yes. Well, for me, let me let me answer your first question. For me, legacy is bigger than basketball. Number one, my legacy is what I do for my players on and off the court. My legacy is what I leave in this community. My legacy is what I leave in um, in my church. My legacy is what I leave 
in this world when I'm gone and to my family. And so I hope that's by uh, a day-to-day -day interaction and who I am as a person. Um, but my one stop theme is, as, I'm spoke, as I spoke about earlier, is we're a team that we're trying to create our own identity. And there's gonna be a lot of obstacles that comes our way. You know, everything from travel to injuries to people who want you. Uh, UCF, from the, big, from the beginning, everybody that plays us, they're, they're gonna come after us. So um, my thing with that is you don't stop, no matter what. And again, that goes to playing basketball, that, that goes to being on time for appointments, that goes to uh, academics, community, whatever it is. Uh, I just feel like that, hey, we won't stop. We got to keep going, no matter what's thrown at us. Yes, great question. Thank you. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Thank you, guys.